<sighs> you know, there's just something about sewer oil fish that makes me want to smile. Hey, hey, everybody, Mountain Dew Manny here. Welcome back to Vox Populi Diamond. It is Friday. That means it is time for the Redneck Rant of the Week. And I think I got a good one for you. If you're keeping up with me, I sincerely hope you are. You know we're on the letter S. And S is for smiling. Yes, isn't that sweet? You'd think it was sweet, right? <clears throat> Just so we all know what we're all talking about, the Handy Dandy Dictionary says that um, smiling is to assume a facial expression indicating pleasure, favor, or amusement, characterized by an upturning of the corners of the mouth. I think we all know what a smile is. Uh, smiles can brighten your day. Uh, it's always good to have a smile on your face, I think. Uh, it just, you know, it's better than a frown. I think it does take more muscles to frown than it does to smile. That's what I've always heard. I've never counted the muscles. I don't know, so I'm going to take that as a hopefully a good fact. And, yeah, I work at, uh, everybody knows where I work, and when you are in any sort of customer service, if you work at fast food, um, if you work in an office where you have to constantly deal with people, any kind of public job, you need to be a good smiler. Now, I'm not talking about one of those plastic smiles that you just, you know, sort of just kind of plaster on your face and then you know oh hello welcome to so and so you know <laughs> the smile is so fake you wonder why it doesn't fall off the person's face <laughs> that's not the kind of smile that I am talking about I am talking about those few and rare people that they just seem to walk around just happy, just happy all the time. And they usually just have a ready smile for everybody. Even if, even if they are down, they still take the trouble to give you a genuine smile, you know, and tell you to have a good day. Hey, how are you doing? And it's always accompanied just by a friendly, open, honest smile. Some people have that rare talent or gift or, you know, some people don't. Um, I guess that's more what I am here to talk about. I would like to say I'm here to talk about everybody having a beautiful, bright smile. Unfortunately, that ain't going to happen. Now, I want to know when on this planet we got so absolutely horribly angry and depressed and just why is it so hard for people to give you an honest smile and even more than that why and when did it become so hard to just have a I mean get one get a genuine smile are we just absolutely so miserable in our own pathetic little lives that we cannot muster up enough happiness, can't scrape together enough joy that we have to fake smiling? And you can tell. I don't know about you guys, but I am... I can read body language. Okay? You can tell a fake smile a mile and a half away. Now, there are, there's a difference between a fake smile, you know, I'm not really having a good day, but I'm going to kind of give you this tired, half-ass smile, because it's the best I can do. But I promise I'll be better, and then you'll get one of my genuine smiles the next time, I promise. You know, that, you know that kind of smile. 
you've probably given that kind of smile. I am talking about, my God, the whole world just crashed in on this person. They hate everybody. And they give you this smile like, you know what? I hate your guts. I don't know why you're standing in front of me. Take this fake smile because that's all you're getting. And you think to yourself, oh, my Lord. Why did you even take the time to even fake that? Um, somebody said, um, a smile is the prettiest thing you can wear. It is. And I don't understand why more people don't wear them. That's what I'm saying. How do, Are we just all that depressed? Are we all so miserable in our lives? People, we should be happy to be alive. <laughs> you know, we, you should be happy every day you wake up. And you wake up and go, you know, wow, I woke up. I'm alive. I get another day. I, nothing seems to be hurting. Nothing seems to be broke. When I get up, I know I'm going to have a little bit of food in the refrigerator. I can scramble some eggs and make some toast. My kids are healthy. Nobody's sick. I get to go to work. You know, it's we're okay. It's going to be a good day. I'm going to smile. No, we can't do that. That takes too much effort. <laughs> we need to be more like, you know what? I could care less if I get up and cook for anybody. They can just eat cold cereal. Then I had to hear about everybody whining about it. Then I got to go to this job I hate with these people I hate or this company I hate. You know? I got to listen to my husband complain about the, the laundry's not done. Why don't he get in there and do it? And then I have to go talk to all these people and pretend I'm happy and smile. Well, you know what? They're not getting a real one today. They're just getting a crappy old smile. And I don't care if anybody likes it or not. Hey, how are you? Welcome to so-and-so, and what do you want? <laughs> and, I, you know, I mean, now I've had days like that. We've all had days where you just wake up on the wrong side of the bed, and you just don't feel like smiling. You know, it's just a bad day. It, it is raining, and, the, you know, the, the cat chewed on my sock. <laughs> I don't know. It's just it's a bad day. And I wish I could smile, but I can't. You know? Um... It's it's always important. My daddy always told me. He goes, um, when you smile, you make sure that your smile uh, your smile changes the world. Don't let the world change your smile. It's very hard sometimes. I think in the day and age that we live in, just to be happy about anything. It just, doesn't it? It just always seems like it's bad news. You know, there's another war. There's another, you know, somebody else got shot. Somebody else, uh, somebody's house burnt down. There's a, you know, there's another robbery. There's another, you know, it just, it, it just doesn't seem to be any good news. You know, so how, you know, and then you have to go to work. And you got to deal with these people and you don't like these people. I'm, you know, God, it, this one talks too much and that one talks too little and the other one's cranky and, you know, you don't care about you don't care about their kids going to the dentist anymore. <laughs> you know, you just why? How can you smile? And then you work in the department where all you hear is you know complaints. Anyway, I tell you what, there are some jobs that you could not pay me enough to do simply because you have to smile and be happy and present a good front all the time. And one of them is cashier anywhere, a cashier anywhere. I do not think I could do it. I do not think I could be that smiley and positive all the time and upbeat because I'm telling you the first person that come in and jumped on me and had a bad day and it was my fault that their pants didn't fit and they had to bring them back and they got nasty and rude, I would get fired on the spot because I'm not going to smile and say, well, you know, we'll take care of you of you sir and we'll take care of your pants too and you just walk on over to customer service and they'll smile and we'll take care of your problem you have a lovely day sir i would be bored you know like I, look dude i don't care about your pants where's your receipt you ain't got no receipt you ain't getting no money back so you know what lose some weight and get them pants <laughs> that's that's why i'm not a cashier in customer service right there but seriously um it's dolly pardon said um, smile. 
it increases your face value. And it does. You, when you walk into any anything, retail, grocery store, restaurant, any sort of business at all, the person that you meet sells that company, that product to you. And if that person is a happy, just bubbly, smiling person, it kind of just makes you want to buy that extra pack of fries. And, you know, maybe I will take that extra, you know. That's what, when you smile, people, you're selling something. You're selling yourself. You're selling your company you work for. You're selling your product. You're selling, you know, whatever it is. People respond to that okay and it just makes a better experience for everybody now think about I mean you know like I said everybody has a bad day you know and yeah sometimes you have to push through it but there are some people it's just you know it's like they have to continue contaminate you with just the misery they're in. And then there's even those more extreme people. They would not smile if the world was coming to the end and somebody told them, you know, if you smile, it'll save the world. They wouldn't do it. They couldn't do it. I don't... It's just like it's not in them. Now, some people... Are, I think there is, they're like that by nature. They're just not smilers. They're shy, or they're just very quiet. They're not the bubbly, outgoing, smiley type, you know. Um, they don't have a frown, per se. I mean, they might have a serious look, but they just, they're not smilers. Now, I get that. I understand that, you know. It's, it's just not, you know. But there are some people that, I mean, they just, they go out of their way not to smile. <laughs> you know, my whole life is miserable and yours is going to be too. And I wouldn't smile at you if it'd save your life. You know? And I just, I don't understand that. Life is too short just to walk around being miserable and hateful and unsmiling to everybody. It's not like we get to, you know, well, you know, your 80th birthday's coming up and, you know, you get to go drop a couple of bucks in a slot machine and pull the handle. Hey, look at there. I won 20 more years. This is it, folks. This is all we get. And you're not guaranteed tomorrow. So why waste your time being miserable and hateful and frowning? It doesn't cost you anything just to smile and say hi to somebody. It doesn't cost a thing. I mean, I could understand if every time you smiled, it took $100 out of your savings or checking account. I think I'd be a little bit, you know, more conservative with my smiles too. But it doesn't. It doesn't cost you nothing. And I don't know if, you know, I mean, even if, you meet a whole nother person from a whole nother country. You speak a whole other language. I just don't know if you know this or not. But if you think about it, it's true. We all smile in the same language. So there you go, guys. S is for smiling. And I hope you will. Just you know, just smile at a random person tomorrow, okay? Just give them a big old flashy smile. Hey, how you doing? And just, you know, and they're probably going to ask you, what's wrong with you? Well, why are you so happy? No reason. I just wanted to smile today. Tell you what, won't you pay it forward? Pass it on. That is that is what I want you to do tomorrow, Okay. Um, we were going to try to smile around the world. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you next time. And remember, a smile is an inexpensive way to improve your looks. So, keep that firmly in mind when you smile tomorrow.
All right, guys. I am so out of here for now. I will see you next week for the letter T. We'll get close to the end of Season 4. I cannot believe it's went by so fast. Till next time, guys. This is Mount Doomania. I'm so out of here. Later, guys. <laughs>